Hi everybody, it's Miss Diane from Excess Therapy. And I'm here with my friends Lion and Paddington Bear. He's a little nervous. And we're here to tell you how much we miss you and how much we want to talk with you today about a few things. It seemed like not that long ago, our world just turned upside down. Yeah, upside down. <laughs> One day, Mom said, no more school. And she said, no more play dates. And she said, no more Taekwondo. And she said, no more sleepovers. No more birthday parties. No more going to the library. No more anything. So you guys felt angry and worried uh -huh. and sad. Uh -huh. And you know what? I felt angry and worried and sad too. And I started wondering what's going on. And then I learned that it's about the coronavirus, coronavirus. The coronavirus is not a big monster. It's very, very small. It's smaller than a little tiny ant. It's so small that you can't see it with your eyes. Even if you open your eyes really wide, you can't see the coronavirus. But it is very powerful. And if the coronavirus gets inside of your body, it can make you feel very sick. So how does this happen? Well, suppose you get a little piece of coronavirus on your hand. Let's pretend that that is a little coronavirus. And then you put your hand to your face and it gets in your mouth. Hmm, it could get inside your body. Or if you get a little tiny bit of coronavirus on your finger and then you put your finger in your nose, then you've got coronavirus in your nose. So now is not the time to rearrange your boogers, everybody. So some very smart scientists decided that one way we could all stay safe from the coronavirus is to not spend time with each other. And that's why we don't go to school and we don't go to play dates or anything else because we're trying to keep each other from getting the coronavirus. Another thing they told us to do is to wash our hands a lot and to sing the happy birthday song while we wash our hands, which is fun. And another thing they said to do is not to touch your face. Don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Don't touch your face. Now, when you do go out, if you do go out, you're gonna see some people wearing masks. And my friend Lion has a mask. 
Hey everybody, I've got a mask on. And my friend Paddington has a mask. a different mask. Now, I want you to know that even though my mask covers up my mouth, if you look at my eyes, you can tell that I'm still smiling at you. Look at my eyes with my mask on. And you can see that I'm still smiling at you because I really miss you. Uh-huh. So, do you have any questions, Lion? Do you have any questions, Paddington? Yeah. I wanna know, when is coronavirus gonna go away? Hmm. That's a really hard question. Well, let's think about it. Lion, do lollipops last forever? Hmm, no. And Paddington, do ice cream cones last forever? No. And do birthday parties last forever? No. Hmm. So good things don't last forever. Now what about bad things? Do bee stings last forever? No. And do Runny noses and sore throats last forever? No. Hmm. So bad things don't last forever either. I guess that means that coronavirus is not going to last forever. But in the meantime, I want you to think Think about coronavirus like a big, big wave. And we have to ride that wave on our surfboard all the way into shore. And the wave is gonna go up and then it's gonna go down. I have an idea. Let's go practice riding the wave. Do you want to come with me? Yeah. Here we are on our surfboard. Paddington and Lion and me. And we're going to pretend that we're riding that wave. The up and the downs and the sideways and we're not gonna let coronavirus make us feel too sad or too worried or too scared we're gonna ride that wave of very strong feelings all the way into shore That was a lot. Sometimes though, sometimes our feelings get so big and so strong. And when that happens, I want you to dig your feet into the ground, go out in the backyard and spread your toes apart push that ground away and make your legs strong like the roots of a tree. And then put your arms up like the branches of a tree and say, I am a 
tree. Big and tall and no strong wind can make me fall. Well, my friends, it's time to say goodbye. It has been so much fun spending some time with you. I want you to know that all of your friends at Access Therapy have a picture of you in their minds and they have strong, caring feelings for you in their hearts. And we are going to be together again soon, playing and learning and having fun. Until then, I want you to stay strong, be like a tree, ride the wave. Okay, goodbye.